we've been worried about the bears and the mountain lions and all of the wild animals to get into it. And yesterday I came and there was a crow in it, the wildest animal of all. <laughs> morning uh, the back long wall and about halfway uh, the front wall not quite halfway just past the first garage door but I mean it, it went pretty good uh, Mitch is at the lot already but he did take a long easy morning he is exhausted and I am too even though I'm not working nearly as hard as him uh, so he just stayed an extra I don't know, maybe even two hours at the house today and had his coffee and made a nice breakfast. So it was quite nice to feel like normal routine again, which is what we normally do when we're not like really like rushing for something to be done. Um, so I'm heading to the lot. Um, his aunt and uncle yesterday uh said they'll come back next weekend if we need them to to help and and we need them to seeing this is my the timeline in my head i think two more days for the front of the building i'm giving each of the sides a day uh so one for the back side which is all straight pieces and a regular walk-in door and one for the the back side where did I say back side times? They're both the back side for some reason. But the side with the big garage door which you would think that should go pretty quick because the big garage door is taking up like half of the wall at least. And then I'm giving an extra day to everything. <laughs> so uh, I'm thinking by next weekend, it's Monday now, uh, we will have all walls up. It could be earlier if people come and help and it could be later if it snows on Wednesday, which is possible. So I got to the lot and Mitch was already in his truck ready to go to the hardware store. My favorite place. Yes, daily trip. Uh, what do we need? 34 screws. 34? In fact, I was exactly not, 34. No, I just all they had. They didn't come with the building because we bordered our windows separate and I think the steel building assumes that you will get windows that are like uh, remodeling windows, maybe shop windows, I don't know. But ours have flanges on them so we're going ahead and milling the flanges. Yeah, so we're going to go up and nail the flanges. We'll go the screws, so we're going back to the lot now. Putting in the last window. Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm a little tired altogether today. There's not a lot of excitement emotion. <laughs> not upset, not not excited. On these days it's nice to just do some small little details like this. Just a, a small little six by six window. <laughs> So I don't think I showed this yesterday, but we also finished all the base trim. Goes all the way around and around there. I think the only thing we're gonna have to do is change that door. We wanted to have it at five feet so I can, we can run out of the building, but the plans say three feet. We had conveniently put it at four feet. <laughs> so that's somewhere in between. Uh, and we have decided to put it back to three feet, which is what the plants say, um, and decide what to do with it later. We have a lot of piles of insulation that has been cut. So they're goo pieces with the white in the back. So we've covered them with the plastic which comes from these big piles of insulation uh, to protect them from possible snow or any kind of rain or anything. 
Um, there's some in the trash bags, which I don't find it as likely that we will use. I think we're only going to use the one that still has the white on it. We did run out of the white seam tape. We don't know how, because we would assume that they gave us enough for the whole building, but maybe they only gave us enough for like tears, not enough for to actually tape all the seams. So last night Mitch found it and ordered some. Here you can see we need to fill in a small part with some of the leftover. Not really sure what happened there, but it's not gonna be a big deal. I am just leaving the lot. I have an appointment with a physical therapist. Mitch is over there working. He put a window in uh, right here, our last window. Uh, he was doing the trim around the window because it was the only one that had, had that. Um, and now he's doing the trim around the garage door. I do think I said earlier that we were done with the trim, but I was wrong. Uh, I actually didn't realize that the garage doors have two trims, ones that are like flush on the side and they're wider pieces to hide the red and then trims on like the outside of the building where the, <clears throat> the siding goes into. We also don't have any trim up for the big garage door and I'm actually very curious what he's going to decide to do because in a way that will be the last trim so if he just goes, goes ahead and does that, then we'll be done with trim for walls. Anyways, I don't know what the roof is gonna take. Today was a beautiful day. Couldn't have been like this during the weekend when everybody was here. It, today was literally like 20 degrees warmer than the weekend. I mean, it snowed a little on Saturday. Beautiful day, tomorrow again, beautiful day. And then hopefully, it seems like the percentage is going down for snow on Wednesday, so that's a very good sign for us. Hey guys, um, just back at the lot again, trying to get this uh, ceiling. I just want to get this trim piece wrapped up. I double checked with the details that that has to be done um, before the roof. I didn't know how the insulation rolled over or anything, so I left some extra. I folded it in last night, so I cut about six inches of white or eight inches to overlap so that the yellow fiberglass doesn't get direct contact with water as much, hopefully. I mean, there's gonna be condensation. It's a metal building, so it will get some, but they're designed to drain. Um, so up here, I'm just trying to get this all together. So I just have to put a piece of foam strip they gave me. It goes into the inlets here and just seals. It glues, it's pretty easy. It comes in three foot pieces, just like the panels. Um, and then on the top, I put this, uh, I think it's butamine tape is what it's called. I don't know, some sticky, pretty thick gooey tape. And that seals the top of that panel there. And then we screw every foot and that holds that in and you screw on this. Um, so it's actually going pretty well, pretty easy. Um, it's supposed to snow tomorrow. So I've just been trying to get little details like this wrapped up rather than more metal done. Katarina is not going to love it. She wants more metal done, but the details have to be done anyway. So I might as well get them done so they don't cause us any stress with snow. I just got to the lot. I, it's cold. I'm being a little dramatic, but it is nice to keep my face warm. Uh, we've gone all the way past the second grass door. In fact, Mitch just cut the piece that will go around the window. Sorry, I accidentally stopped the video. So, in the three minutes we filmed while the video was not filming, <laughs> Mitch said that he actually finished this part in just a couple of hours yesterday. You can see now that we have the trim up here also, which is nice because it protects the insulation. He doesn't have to go back and cut it. He just goes straight on. What did you say? Like every foot? Every one foot, like the center of the rib. It needs a screw. It's going up well. Um, you can see here he has started uh, installing the garage door. Uh, in the video we filmed but didn't film. What did you say in that video, honey? What? 
above the garage door. That I almost had it up last night because it's like a little quieter than running that machine and getting the stuff. I decided like once it got late, I brought the garage door parts inside and wanted to figure them out so I knew what was coming. And I could put the track up very fast and easy so that at least it's out of our way and up. Yeah. I don't think I put the garage door on yet. It seems like maybe it'll be in our way, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But 50-50. I'll just see if another time comes up that it's... I have time later or something that I yeah. should be doing siding. It gets really hard to see drilling and the bottom you can't see. Yeah. You only have one light and yeah. one guy. It's very hard to be siding once it gets dark. I think by this weekend we will finish the walls. Just with like everything. I mean, I'm sure there's like the side trim to go on to. It goes on after, but I got it all up here and figured it out to make sure we're not going to backtrack again. Okay. Um, I didn't know how it went, it went to that corner though. Like this trim that I'm putting over the top. Yeah. I think this goes over the top of that. No, it can't. It has to go underneath that. So I left it long because we're going to have to trim it off somewhere wherever our rake trim comes in and that stuff's super wide i don't know where it will come in it's like a weird awkward piece okay it's one of the pieces that got blown into the tree so at least it's on the top of the roof okay cool the garage doors look massive right now with all the trim and the siding i'm excited they're cool too because I thought there were going to be a bunch of like little tiny sections. The 10 by 10 and ours was like, what? Four by four? Oh, four. How many did ours have? Two. Oh, ours, sections, you mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah, four by four, I think, yeah. I thought you were saying But feet. I thought it was going to be these dinky little things. And yeah. It's nice. It only has three glass pieces with. Oh, so, so they're, they're, they're huge. Wide. Yeah. yeah. That's oh, nice. cool. It's cool. Yeah. It's a little browner than the building, I will say, but... Oh, it's whatever. okay. It is what it is. I would rather that than some... Well, color. white. We probably should have went black. No, I think it's okay. But they don't be. need to be exactly the same color. Yeah. Honey, tell us what happened yesterday to the trash and why you've covered it like this. Well, we've been worried about the bears and the mountain lions and all of the wild animals to get into it and yesterday i came and there was a crow in it <laughs> the wildest animal of all <laughs> he's our crow he has stolen chips before he was looking into the bags the other day when the family was here in a way he's our pet crow he's a sucker is what he is <laughs> we have just put up the piece around the window Wow, you almost can see that it's actually going under and over the window from here, just barely a few inches. And it started to snow because, you know, what else would one need before finishing the walls and the roof of a building? Just some snow. We've gone just around the window on the front side and the next part needs to be cut straight to go fully on top and fully on the bottom. The window is six feet and each piece is three feet. So we just need straight cats. Cuts. Cat. I like cats too. Songs about snow, teach me one. I guess in a way it's about Christmas and snow. Yeah. Let me 
mean, these are cut. I guess they're not different, but. Realistically, I could drill them anyway because the same things cut off. You just have to add some. Yeah. Never subtract, even if it cuts out. But whatever. You have two more pieces, and then everything and is then full pieces. Just for me to move anyway, so it's almost easier to deal with one at a time when you're one person. <laughs> Yesterday it was really nice because it was sunny and hot and the building was hot so the little sticky things stuck to it really nice uh, and that's why I decided to go ahead with that. Yeah. And today it's probably going to suck and they're going to fall off. Yep. I don't know. We'll see. Generally it has not been near as bad as I expected. The top? What? The weather. What'd you say? The weather. No, the bit like the steel. The siding. Oh, our crow! Yeah. Yep. Steal some food? Do you see him? Oh. Our pet crow. <laughs> Things are going well, even in the snow. Oh, your phone? Yeah. Your phone is here. What do you need it for? To write down measurements. <laughs> you can't remember them in your old age? I remember them and every time I get over there I say are you sure because we don't have an extra long piece so then I like don't second guess myself and I'm always like it was okay but it's easier to just write it and feel good about it he's back again I mean Mitch went to the back to cut the next piece and he came back I mean, I think it's time that we give this crow a name because we're obviously intruding into his territory and he's our pet over his pets. I'm not sure which one, but this is our crow now and we're his humans. shed he goes over there all the time I don't know if it's because the table where we put the food is there or he has found a good hiding spot in that area but usually that's where he comes in from before he steals our food okay I am just about to leave the lot you can almost see from this angle we went around the window on the other side so the things that are left now are stray pieces, so I'm gonna go back home and work out. Super exciting. Anyway, so the building is going good. I think Mitch will finish that whole long wall today. Mm, 3.30, I don't know. Realistically tomorrow morning, probably he will. I think there's 10 pieces left. Uh, I think it's only safe that he puts up about five or six today and then the rest tomorrow, but pretty much tomorrow morning will be done. Uh, and we'll go around to the side walls. I think the side walls will take probably a day each. So today is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. 
I think we'll, we can go into the weekend and be looking pretty goof with full walls. He's exhausted. He's like half sick. He sounds like Hazel, honestly. Uh, we'll probably see you again tomorrow. Hopefully, almost the whole building will be done. And hopefully, the snow is stopped. It's supposed to be really nice in a couple of days. We just, we cannot afford having snow on things right now that we have to clean off before we use them. Even though it has been an incredible fall, it's like end of November and this is the first snow. So I guess we can't complain. All right, thank you for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.